Have you ever thought about if your money situation is like what most people go through? Have you ever wondered how much money people usually have in savings when they retire? Or how your salary compares to what others earn in a year? What about the way you spend money? Understanding these numbers can give you a better idea of where you stand financially. They help you figure out if you're doing better or worse than the average person. Some of these facts might surprise you. Let's talk about your job. Do you ever wonder if you make more or less money than most workers? According to the US Department of Labor Statistics, the typical income for someone who works full-time is around $1,041 a week. That's roughly $52,000 each year. If you break it down to an hourly wage for a 40-hour work week, it's about $26 an hour before taxes. Now, this income number is just for one person, not for a whole family. Household income is the total money earned by everyone living in a house, including the spouse and any kids they support. Based on the most recent information from the Federal Reserve, the middle amount of money saved by all grown-ups for when they stopped working was $65,000. This number covers people of all ages who have retirement savings, but it leaves out those who don't have any retirement accounts, which is about one-fourth of Americans. Now, if someone decides to retire with this $65,000 and follows the rule of taking out 4% of it every year, they would only have $2,600 each year to live on. That's not much to cover all your needs. For folks who are 25 years old or even younger, their typical retirement account has about $1,786. Those who are between 25 and 34 years old have a bit more saved up, with an average of just over $14,000. When you look at folks who are 65 years old or older, they've got almost $88,000 in their retirement accounts. But here's the issue. These amounts are quite low when you think about how much money a regular household needs to retire comfortably. Usually, a household needs around $500,000 or more, along with other sources of income, to have a comfortable retirement. It's a bit concerning that many folks are falling short of this goal. Simply setting aside a small part of your paycheck and consistently investing it can significantly improve your retirement savings, compared to other people of your age. The Social Security Administration tells us that the usual monthly payment is about $1,550. Many Americans depend solely on this social security income for retirement, and for those who have no other savings, they might need to keep working to make ends meet. It's important to realize that $1,550 per month is just the average amount, and individuals who haven't earned much during their working years may receive even less. On the other hand, some folks plan for retirement without relying on social security at all, considering it a bonus rather than a guarantee. Additionally, the actual benefit you receive depends on when you decide to start taking it. Most people can estimate their future Social Security benefits by looking at their past earnings on the Social Security Administration's website. Let's put this into perspective. The typical household spends roughly $5,577 each month, according to US statistics. To cover your monthly expenses comfortably, Social Security alone might not be enough. The good news is that with a bit of discipline and regular investing, you can boost your retirement savings. By consistently setting aside a portion of your income and investing it wisely, you can build a more secure financial future. Remember, it's never too early to start planning for your retirement. According to the Department of Labor Statistics, the typical household shells out approximately $67,000 throughout the year. This means that, as a family, you'd need to bring in that much money annually just to meet your basic needs. This amount encompasses various significant expenses, such as housing, transportation, and food, which tend to consume a significant portion of the average budget. To break it down further, housing costs average around $1,885 each month, accounting for 34% of the total expenditure. Food expenses come in at $691 per month, while transportation costs reach a total of $913 per month. When it comes to credit scores, they can vary greatly, ranging from as low as $300 to as high as $850. Surprisingly, the average FICO score, which is a commonly used credit score, sits quite high at $715, based on experiences and observations. Understanding these financial figures can help you make better decisions about your money. It's important to budget wisely and consider saving for the future, especially when it comes to retirement. Being aware of your spending habits and financial goals is crucial to achieving financial security. While some folks might downplay the importance of having a good credit score, for most people, having a respectable score can bring significant benefits. 
It's crucial to pay attention to your credit score, especially if you ever plan to use any type of debt. Your credit score plays a pivotal role in determining the mortgage rate you'll get when purchasing a home or rental property. The good news is that maintaining a healthy credit score is relatively straightforward, primarily by paying your bills on time. Experience shows that your payment history has the most significant impact on your credit score. Following that, factors like your credit utilization ratio, credit history length, the types of credit you have, and the amount of new credit also comes into play. One of the major issues with credit card debt is the extraordinarily high interest rates associated with it. When you're paying a 15%, 20%, or 25% interest rate on credit card debt, it far exceeds the returns you could typically earn by investing in the stock market. This can significantly hinder any retirement savings or investments you might be trying to build. Moreover, credit cards often lead to unnecessary spending, and much of the debt people accumulate is likely the result of overspending on items that weren't truly essential. The culprits often include clothing, electronics, small appliances, and impulsive online purchases, which don't retain much value over time. Fortunately, a straightforward solution to this problem is to pay off your credit card balances in full every single month. Avoid purchasing things you can't afford or consider using a debit card instead. Keeping tabs on your net worth is also a wise practice. It provides a clear way to track your financial progress as you work towards building wealth. Your net worth serves as a valuable indicator of your financial health, revealing areas of strength and areas that need improvement. Calculating your net worth involves adding up the total value of all your assets, such as your home, vehicles, and other possessions, including the funds in your retirement accounts. Then, subtract everything you owe, such as outstanding mortgage debt. You might be surprised to discover that the median net worth for households in the United States stands at approximately $122,000, according to data from the Federal Reserve. Let's take a closer look at net worth figures, particularly for those under the age of 35, whose median net worth hovers at less than $14,000. In the 35 to 44 age group, the median stands at $91,000, while it jumps to $168,000 for individuals aged 45 to 54. For those between 55 and 64 years old, the median net worth is $202,000, and it further increases to $266,000 for those aged 65 to 74. These net worth numbers may seem substantial, but with a reasonable income and some financial discipline, they are indeed achievable. When it comes to saving money, the amount varies from year to year, influenced by various factors, such as the state of the economy. According to data from the U.S. Bureau of Economics Analysis, the average savings rate floats around 6%. This means that, on average, individuals set aside approximately 6% of their income after taxes. They may earmark these savings for various purposes, including a down payment on a home, home improvements, a new vehicle, education expenses, retirement funds, or unexpected financial needs. Once you've set aside funds for your short- and medium-term savings goals, there might not be much left to save for retirement. Let's break it down. The average down payment for a home is around $62,000. If you're thinking about renovating your lounge, that typically costs around $26,000. And if you're in the market for a new car, be prepared to spend over $47,000. Experts suggest that ideally people should be saving at least 10 to 15% of their income just for retirement. If your goal is to retire early, you may even need to save more. In addition to retirement savings, you'll also want to put money away for other future expenses or purchases you have in mind. Everybody dreams of retiring early, escaping the daily grind of work. However, according to Ramsey Solutions, the average retirement age is 61. This is despite the fact that most people can't collect their full Social Security benefits until they reach the age of 67. Starting your investments early provides you with a significant advantage. Time gives you the wonderful opportunity to earn compound interest, which can substantially boost your savings over the years. However, when contemplating retirement at the age of 61, it's crucial to consider if it allows you enough time to savor the activities you genuinely enjoy. At 61, there's a reasonable chance of enjoying good health and mobility. Yet, how many more years can you realistically anticipate to maintain the physical well-being necessary to enjoy your hobbies fully? It's a question that often goes unanswered until retirement approaches. Understanding your financial progress can be challenging. 
Sometimes it may feel like you're far from where you should be, making minimal headway. Examining the financial statistics of the average person can be eye-opening, shedding light on your own financial standing. You might discover that in many aspects, you're actually outperforming the average person, offering you the motivation to continue striving for financial improvement. Investing early offers a valuable advantage through compound interest, but the age at which you retire plays a significant role in determining the quality of your retirement years. Beyond the financial aspect, it's essential to consider your physical health and how long you'll be able to engage in the activities you love. Finally, assessing your financial progress by comparing it to average statistics can provide valuable insights potentially revealing that you're on a better financial track than you might have initially thought, motivating you to continue on your path towards financial security.